Hi everyone, let's talk about saving our projects. Whether or not you are done, you're gonna to wanna to save your project. For most of you, you're gonna work on a little bit of it today and you're going to need to save it to come back and finish it. If you need to save to come back and finish, you're going to first go to this save button right here. It's this little check mark. You're going to click on that and it will take you to this page right here. Your first step is to copy the link. So all I do is click that, my link is now copied and ready to go. The best way to save this is to email it to yourself. And I know a lot of you are like, well, wait, Miss Maganis, I don't know how to email that to myself. Well, that's why I'm making this video. I'm gonna go over it step by step. So once you've copied that link, you're going to open up a new tab by hitting this plus sign here. Your new tab will open up and you're going to just simply type in, and let me move myself so you can see it. You're just gonna type in Gmail. As you see, I already did this once showing a class. Hit enter, and it's going to take you to a Google search for Gmail. Right here is what you wanna click. It's the first one that comes up, okay? Where it says Gmail slash Google. Click on that, and because you're on your Chromebook, you should already be signed in. If for some reason you are not signed in, what you'll need to do is you'll need to type in your school email address, which is your username for your Chromebook, including the at stu, all of that stuff, .org. So the whole long thing, and then your password is your same password. But for most of you, it's gonna take you right to a screen like this because you're already going to be logged in. So to send yourself an email, you need to hit the plus sign right here where it says compose. Click on that and that's going to start an email for you. Now mine's taking a second because like I told you, my computer is incredibly slow. So mine is still loading. <laughs> Eventually it will work, right? There we go. All right, so where it says to, I'm actually going to type in my own name. You're going to start with your last name because you're typing your email address. So for me, I start typing my name. Oh, look, there I am. It should come up for you too. I click on my name. Now see where it says subject? You don't really need to put anything here, okay? Then click down here where it's blank, okay? This is where you want to be. You're going to do your double click and paste. Do you see how that's that link that I copied on the previous uh, tab? There's my link. Now I just hit send. If you look here, I now have a new email from me and it is my project. If I click on this link, it's going to take me right back to my project. And of course, again, my computer is so slow, plus I have a bunch of tabs open. So it's gonna take forever to load, but guys, it's gonna take you back to your project. Now let's say you're totally done with your project and you wanna save it and submit it because maybe you were really, really excited about all of this and you are finished, you're good to go, ready. What you're going to do is you're going to copy your link. And again, this is only if your project is completely done, you don't have to go back and change anything, okay? If you're not done, Disregard this portion of it. We can go over this in class later. Copy your link. Go back to your classwork page. Your 2020 assignments, again, third graders, this is the same for you. It's just in your Google Classroom instead of fourth grades. Click where it says your assignments. Now, mine looks different because it's the teacher version. But what you'll do is you'll hit view assignment. Then over on this portion of the screen, there's going to be a button that has a plus sign. It's going to say add or create, I believe. You'll click on that button. Then it will have one that has a little like uh, chain looking thing that says link. You're going to click on that. And then it's going to bring up a little thing where you can paste that link that we had. So you do your two fingers, paste. It's going to add the link. And then once it adds the link, there'll be a purple button that says turn in. You'll hit turn in and that's going to submit your assignment to us. And again, if you don't finish this today, it's no big deal. If you struggle with that portion of it, just save it. I'll help you turn it in when we're back in person in class. Or you can send me an email and we can go over that on um, Google Meets or something. Just let us know if you're struggling with it, okay? So that's how you can turn it in or save it. Hope this helped and hope you have fun working on your project. Bye, guys.